Hi everyone. Continue to pray for my health. It's been really rough the last few days or so. I need to try to clean the ceiling in the living room and it's going to be very, very hard. Um, so continue to pray for my health, my depression and anxiety, our finances. We are not doing well financially at all. Um, pray for my friend Bobby's health. She needs divine healing. My friend Stanley, who has been kicked out, out, of, out of his place for provisions from God, I guess that where he lives, they can go back once they get it paid. So just pray for that situation. Um, I guess he's staying in his church right now. Um, yeah, that's all I can think of. If you have prayer, just let me know. And 52 devotions for cat ladies. And today's topic is with us. <clears throat> Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Deuteronomy 31.6 My husband's father had been in the VA for several months, and we had hoped for news that he was turning a corner and getting better. Instead, we were greeted with news no child wants to hear. It was time to call hospice and make some end-of-life decisions. Saying goodbye to a parent is never easy. It was particularly hard with my husband's father. We lived several states away and couldn't be with him during the process. We agonized over whether to move him to the hospice wing of the VA or move him to another facility. To start the process, a social worker took us downstairs to tour the hospice wing in the VA. As we got off the elevator, we were met with soft music and cheerful colors. There were several rooms where veterans could gather, as well as a tiny chapel. On the way to the room's hallway, we met the other permanent resident, Wilson the Cat. He was lounging in a chair, and as we walked by, he joined us for the tour. The social worker explained that the cat had been there several years and was a great favorite with residents and visitors. Wilson had a knack for knowing who needed extra attention, and when it came time for a resident to say goodbye to this world, he made sure they never faced that transition alone. Our decision to leave my husband's father there brought us peace. The call we dreaded came late one evening, but so did God's comfort. The nurse was quick to assure us that Wilson had stayed by Claude's side the entire day. It had been our greatest worry that he would be alone when he passed. God knew our fears, and he took care of them. I'm always amazed by the great links and creative methods God uses to answer prayers and bless his children. God never falls short of his promises, and he promised to never leave us or forsake us. In this instance, he used a feline to fulfill his perfect promise. God, you are our comfort and our peace. You are always close when we need you. Remind me that your promises hold true for my loved ones as well as for me. It's harder to see the struggles of someone I care about than it is to face challenges myself. Give me real examples of the ways you care for those I love. Surround them with love. May I always trust your ability to be exactly what we need when we need it. Pause to think. How has God comforted you during times of stress and sorrow? Did you know cats can reduce blood pressure and patience while also reducing their fear and anxiety? All right, that is it. I hope you have a blessed rest of your Wednesday. Talk to you later.